working on a project while standing on a ladder is risky and scary in itself and add stairs to that equation and then see what happens recently i was doing crown framing in this part of the house and i needed a safe way to do this section which is right above my basement stairs i'm sure there are many good professional solutions out there but this is a diy channel and i want some diy friendly solution which is safe reliable budget friendly and of course easy to work around so i made this platform on which i'm sitting right now in less than two hours and for less than 25 dollars in material cost so i got the idea for this platform uh, from lou of live free and diy and i will post link to his video in the description down below but i modified his design to my needs uh, my platform is lighter in weight and is modular which means I can take the legs apart and store everything away after use and can put everything back together in two minutes whenever needed again. So let's get started. I started off by taking the measurement for the length of the platform at the stairs. I made this platform five sets of stairs deep and 26 inches wide. Next step was to cut all the pieces to size at the miter saw. Long sides and one short sides are cut from 2x4s and all other three short sides from 2x3 to make a recess to fit the plywood. All the pieces are joined together with the pocket hole joinery. I am attaching a 2x3 piece here alongside the 2x4 edge piece. After putting the frame together, I measured and cut 3 quarter inch thick sharp grade plywood to fit in the recess made by the 2x3 pieces. Then I simply screwed the plywood to the frame with 2 inch long deck screws. Just checking the strength of the platform. To give a little more strength to the frame, I measured and attached 4 more pieces to the underside of the platform making it more like a torsion box assembly. Because this part will be rubbing against the risers of the stairs to protect the risers, I'm going to attach these uh, felt pads here and to protect the treads i'm going to staple uh, this anti-skid uh, mat to the underside of the base To get the height of the legs, I took the platform to the stairs and measured for the exact required height there itself. It also has this small lip which will uh, keep this uh, ladder or step ladder from sliding away. See? I also chopped the feet at 5 degree angles at the ends so that the feet lean towards the stairs rather than outwards from the stairs. So yeah, and this uh, stretcher here is also removable. So I'll now dismantle it then you can see how everything is put together. So now I'm going to open this bolt here. So this stretcher is attached with Quadra 20 hardware which I'm gonna uh, open with this hex key now. instructions for the assembly of this platform and I'm going to put these instructions along with the hardware in a ziplock and staple that ziplock to the underside of the platform itself. 
let me quickly read these instructions for you uh, to just give you an idea how uh, quick and easy it is to put this thing together. So let me you know, focus the camera towards the platform itself. Okay, ladder platform for the stairs. First, attach the stretcher between two small legs loosely with quarter 20 dark one hardware with the help of hex key provided. There are only two dark uh, uh, hardware pieces in there. And these are only two small legs. And there are markings on stretcher and on the legs. Like A goes with A and B goes with B. Okay, so number two. Then attach two small legs to the sides with the help of smaller nuts and bolts as per the figure down below. L goes with L and R goes with R. So on the legs itself, this is L, like left leg and L in. So this is L side. So this L in goes in and L goes with L. Similarly, R, R in goes inside. This R will goes with R. So this is the figure like bolt then washer then platform then washer then nut. So just a rough uh, picture. Now tighten the stretcher hardware because in the first step I said just attach it loosely. Now take the platform to the stairs now. So just you know take the platform to the stairs. In the last attach the long leg with the help of long bolts and nut. So this is the one long leg that goes on the outside of the uh, platform. Pay attention to the out and in written on the leg itself. So this is in that goes with the platform, out stays out. Now get to the actual work that is needed to be done. So that's all, that's all guys. So I, I think it's, it's only a, you know two minutes job to put everything back together. So oh, yeah. If you don't look down, you won't even know that you are standing on the stairs. So this platform is that sturdy. We struggled so much last year while putting these frames up but next time when we need to change the pictures in these frames it's gonna be a piece of cake with this platform around. So that's all for now. If you have any questions or concerns about this project let me know and I will try to address your concerns or if you know someone who could use this idea just share this project with them and I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then take care.